this is Lindsay with Off the Beaten Hook. This video tutorial is a supplement to my Amigurumi pattern for Benjamin the Bear. I'll cover the trickier bits in this video, but I don't cover the entire pattern because most of the written pattern is self-explanatory. So you'll definitely need to grab a copy of the written pattern to complete the entire bear. If you don't have it yet, you can find the links to the pattern in the description box below. So the parts we do together in this video are making and sewing on the snout, sewing on the ears, inserting the safety eyes, round 38, which is the hem of his shirt, and round 39, where we change colors from the shirt back to the body. So let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and make the snout together of the little bear. I have made one for you so you can visualize um, how it's going to come together. So we've got the little black nose and the snout, and it's going to go onto the face like that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and begin with our black yarn and our 2.75 millimeter hook. So begin by making a magic circle Okay, and we are going to stitch five single crochets into that magic circle. So I'm gonna slip knot onto my hook there. And I'm gonna make five single crochets into this magic circle. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's round one. Go ahead and close the circle. Okay, for round two, we're going to single crochet increase all the way around. I know it's really hard to see with black yarn, but we're gonna do, for an increase, you do two single crochets into the same stitch. So our first increase is one single crochet and two single crochets into that same stitch. We're gonna repeat that all the way around. So we'll have 10 stitches after round two. So those are two stitches. Increase again in this next one. So that's four. Increase again. So we're increasing five times. That was our third increase. Fourth increase. And fifth, okay? So go ahead and just to kind of even out the circle, we're gonna slip knot or slip stitch into that that next one to close up that circle. All right, so after round two, you've got 10 stitches, okay? So for round three, we're going to back loop only single crochet around. See if you can see that a little better. Black yarn is just really hard to see in video. So where we just placed our slip stitch, that was the first stitch of the round. So we wanna make sure we do our first back loop only single crochet right there where we did that slip stitch. Okay, so that'll be our first one. So back loop only single crochet all the way around. So that was one. Okay, I'm on my final, my 10th stitch of round three, back loop only single crochet, but round four is done in brown. So this is the point that I'm going to switch to my brown. So for my very last stitch of round three, I'm gonna do my final yarn over and pull through with a new color. So now I'm all teed up for round four in brown. Okay, round four, is happening through both loops, not just the back loop only. Everything moving forward now is going to be through both loops of the stitch. Okay, so round four is going to begin with four single crochets. And as I do this one, I'm gonna tighten up that color change here. Okay, so that's one. two, three, four. And in these next two, I'm going to increase. 
So for both of those, we're gonna increase. So we're gonna place two single crochets in the same stitch. There was one increase. And in this next stitch, I'm gonna increase again with two single crochets. Okay, and then to complete round four, I'm gonna do four more single crochets. Two, up that color change one more time and at this point I'm going to snip my black yarn because I'm done with black get that guy out of the way okay so we are now on round five so round five we are going to single crochet five one Two, three, four, five. We're going to increase in the next two stitches. So two single crochets in the stitch and two single crochets in that next stitch. And then we're going to end with five more single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I don't know if you're noticing a little bit of a pattern here, but the next round for round six is going to be six single crochets two increases and six more single crochets. Round seven is seven single crochets, two increases, seven single crochets. And then finally round eight is eight single crochets, two increases and eight single crochets. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get going on that. I will check in at each round, but if you just wanna go for it, then you can go for it, all right? So I'm on round six, so six single crochets, one, okay, so that was round six, round seven, begin with seven single crochets, one in the next, one each in the next seven stitches. So one. Six, seven. Okay, we are on our final round of the snout. We're gonna begin with eight single crochets. This is the eighth row, or eighth round rather. So one, two, Okay, so let's go ahead and complete the snout with a slip stitch in this next one. Okay, and you're gonna snip and pull through. Make sure you leave a tail for sewing on the snout. You wanna leave a good, you know, eight inches or so for sewing on the snout. All right, so I will let you go ahead and get to making the ears next and making the head. Both of those are very straightforward, so just refer to the pattern. And then I will meet you back here and we will sew on the ears and the snout to the head together. So I'll see you there. All 
right, so I'm going to get you going on sewing the snout to the head. So go ahead and stuff the snout lightly. You will finish stuffing it just before you finish sewing it on. So just get enough down into the nose. You don't want it to be so full that the stuffing is going to get in the way as you go around and sew it on. Now place the snout on the opposite side of the head from where you finished your round on the head as you went around making the head. This is going to be the front of the face. And place it on here toward the upper part of the snout where you placed all of your increases should be pointing to the top of the head. Pin the snout to the face over rounds 14 through 22. So just counting down from the top of the head down to round 14 and pin it to the head right here. Then pin the other side of the snout down underneath over round 22. And just go around and place a few more pins to hold it in place. So we're going to be using the back stitch to sew the snout on. And this is the method I use when I sew um, omigurumi parts onto open parts versus stuffed parts. Or you can actually push the tapestry needle through all the way through and back up. Um, I use the back stitch. So thread the yarn tail onto your tapestry needle and bring the needle through to the inside of the head. Now bring the tapestry needle back through to the outside through the stitch to the left of where you just put it in and push it under both loops of this stitch on the snout. Pull it through. And insert it under both loops of the next stitch on the snout and back to the inside of the head. All right now for your first back stitch you'll bring your tapestry needle back out underneath both loops of this next stitch And then you're going to bring it backwards and back down through the previous stitch of the snout. And that's how you do your first back stitch. And this is how you're going to do every back stitch as you go around the snout. So bringing the needle back up under the next stitch of the snout under both loops. and backwards back to the inside under that previous stitch. Okay, you're gonna do this all the way around. And stop now and again to be sure the snout is staying properly centered. Okay, so go ahead and continue in this way all the way around the snout. And I will meet you towards the end, um, just prior to finishing off the sewing and we can finish stuffing it and finish sewing it on.
So there you have it. The snout is on. Okay, so I will meet you back here and we will pin on the ears and sew them on in the exact same way that we just sewed the snout on. We're going to be using back stitches also for the ears. So we'll put them in place and then you'll go for it with your back stitches on the ears as well. So I will see you there. Okay, so we have sewn on the ears and the snout, and it is now time to put in the safety eyes. So I am using six millimeter safety eyes, and the eyes go in in between rounds 16 and 17. So I begin with the top and count down just from row one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So right in between 16 and 17 and four stitches away from the snout. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to pop in that safety eye. Okay, then go and grab your other one and just mimic that on the other side. So I just kind of carry it over to the row one, two, three, four. Put it in the fourth stitch from the snout. Okay, take a look. Adjust it if you'd like. Use bigger eyes if you'd like. Whatever looks good to you. Go ahead and put the backs on. All right, so round 38 is the last round of this little bear's shirt. And we're actually gonna slip stitch around. And this creates a really nice edge to the shirt and a place to color change to brown. It's gonna look really like a really nice clean color change, which I will show you how to do that at the end of this round. So go ahead and get going on round 38. Mark your first stitch, your first slip stitch. I don't know, for me, it's always kinda I, I, I miss it for some reason when I'm starting around in slip stitches. Like it's hard for me to tell where the first one was. So there's one. Okay, so you're just gonna be slip stitching loosely. Don't do it too tight because you don't wanna taper in the edge at all. You just wanna create a nice um, even tension all the way around for your slip stitches. So I will go ahead and meet you at the end of this round 38. All right, I'm coming around to the end of row 38 and placing my last slip stitch. Okay, so go ahead and take a look at what this does for the edge of the shirt. This just creates a really nice little border. What's gonna happen is this is, like I said, this is round 38. And what you're gonna be doing is you switch back to brown, which I will show you how to do right now, is you're actually gonna be making the next round, which is round 39, you're making it into round 37. 
So I wanted to show you that in case, as it's described in the pattern, feels a little bit confusing. So you've got round 38, which is this round of slip stitches, which show along the outside. Okay, so route 38 was obviously made in to round 37, which is these two loops that are showing on the edge of the slip stitch. So round 39, which is gonna be made back in brown, is actually gonna be made under the two loops from round 37. So I hope that helps you visualize it. So again, you've got your slip stitch, which is round 38 on the outside. Well, here is round 37, which is just right behind round 30, 38 slip stitches, okay? So let me show you how to do the color change and then we'll get going on, on that. All right, so what you're gonna do is take your, um, take your hook off of the loop, all right? Take your stitch marker out, place your hook, from back to front through that stitch where you just took your stitch marker out. This is the very first stitch of round 38 where you just did your slip stitches. You're going in from back to front underneath that and you're gonna pull your loop to the back. So grab your loop and pull it into the back through that underneath, okay? Just like that. And tighten it down, doesn't need to be big. Right, so that just kind of finishes off round 38 there. Go ahead and grab your brown, grab your other color that you're changing back to into your working hand and place your hook back in normal way, front to back. Okay, just like you're starting the next round and grab your new color. So grab the brown and pull it through that loop. Just like you're, you're rejoining your color, okay? Tighten up that loop from the back, tighten up the the shirt color, okay? And that's gonna tighten that down. And now you are ready to start straight away with your brown, okay? And I will remind you that you just did that little color change in the first stitch of the round. So make sure you don't skip that first stitch, okay? So let me give you a look at what that looks like, okay? So again, we're kind of flipping it over. We're finding those two loops from round 37 right behind the slip stitch. So here's the first stitch of round 38. You're going into the first stitch of round 37, which is right behind it right here, these two loops, okay? So pushing your hook under there, just like you're gonna do your single crochet. Complete your single crochet. And that is your first stitch of round 39. All right, so go ahead and continue in that way under those loops from round 37. So the next one we placed right here and again, on the front, you've got round 38, your round of slip stitches. So not to be repetitive, but this is a little bit unique. Complete your single crochet. Okay, so you're just doing it all the way around. For round 39, there's no increases or decreases. You're just placing them through those stitches right behind that slip stitch. Let's take a look at this. Isn't that nice? So it kind of just creates a little hem for the shirt and creates a really nice color change back down to the brown, all right? So I'll meet you just at the end of this row just real quick just to show you what it looks like and then I'll let you get on your way with the rest of the pattern. I just love how that looks. So there he is with his little shirt. All right, so go ahead and carry on with his tummy um, round for round 40 and onward. If this video was helpful for you, please click the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to sign up on my website, offthebeatenhook.com, so we can keep in touch and where you'll be the first to know about new patterns, resources, and video tutorials. See you next time.